Hello and welcome from libramming.org. This is another video on uh, C programming using function pointers and the core of this function is controlled by strcmp. So let's first uh, read about strcmp, what it does. strcmp function compares the two strings s1 and s2 which are passed to it. It returns an integer less than, equal to or greater than 0 if s1 is found. Note, s1 has to be there respectively to be less than, to match or to be greater than s2. So it will return an integer less than 0 if s1 is less than 0 and it will be equal to 0 if s1 and s2 are equal and it will be greater than 0 if s1 is greater than s2. Okay. So let's proceed with function, uh, this particular program. Now I have, uh, uh, this particular example is directly from man page itself of QSort. So this involves two more, uh, one more concept that is argc and argv. Whenever you type on command prompt dot slash your program name, that is an argument to shell, that com then argc becomes one. And then argv is a pointer to character array. So the first element of that character array will always be the program name. You can supply more if you want. But if argc is less than 2, the program gives you the warning of uses and it returns exit failure which is a macro defined in stdlib.h. And then we have our qsort library function which sorts. And one of its arguments is the void pointer or the base pointer, the array which you want to sort number of elements in that array and size of care pointer that is the size of the member each member in the array argv1 so the base pointer we are pointing to first element not at the 0th element because we do not want the program name itself to be the part of array to be sorted and then our comparison function is cmp string p now what cmp string p does is it, it's a function pointer, okay. So cmp string p is used as a function pointer and then it compares the two strings which are cast to care pointer const pointer which is the signature of str cmp. Although p1 and p2 would be pointers to pointers to care. But str cmp does not expect in that format and it will give you warning if you enable wall. Uh, even without wall, it will give you the warning. So <coughs> here we use strcmp and then qsort sorts it. So remember we talked about the principle of inversion. And that is, uh, I forgot the term. Okay, so uh, where high level functions do not depend on low level functions, right? that inversion principle. So high level function q sort does not depend on the low level function cmp string p. It does not care what, how cmp string p does. All it cares is I give you two elements now you have to sort it out. How you do it, it does not matter. So after that it is printed. So let's run this program. As I make fp1 it is built. So fp1 so you see, if you are less than 2, then it will give you error. Now if I give A, then S1 will become A, guaranteed, and S1 is printed. Now suppose we want to function something, all single character strings. So it is printed in sorted order, E, G, G, J, W. Uh, that is, uh, um, what you call, uh, an ascending order, rather. Yep, alphabetically ascending order. And to negate that, you can use a unary operator here. So if you want descending order, you can that, do that also. So you got descending order. Because then the order will be reversed for Q sort. It will receive greater than 0 if S1 is less than S2 and will receive uh, less than 0 if s1 is greater than s2. Yeah, that's right. If it will receive greater than 0 if s1 is less than s2, and will receive less than 0 if s1 is uh, greater than 0. I, I'm, I'm messing this up. 
uh, it q sort will receive a negative value if uh, s1 is greater than s2 and q sort will receive positive value if uh, s1 is uh, uh, less than s2 all right i got it right <laughs> it happens many times okay so that's how this function works so you see the callback of cmp string p here which is tied up with q sort call so this brings us to an end of function pointers and now i'll take one more example on these two cats arg c and arg v and we will uh, talk about that and then possibly we can talk about some functions using uh, variable argument list we a list i will talk about we a start and we a end and uh, then possibly we can do file io thanks for watching the video and keep watching uh, you every time i say i'll do this and then we end up doing something else but anyway that's how life is thanks for watching the video happy programming